Alright, last time we finished up Chapter 2, and at this point, I'm gonna, before we start Chapter 3, I'm gonna do some side quest stuff. I am poor. I am very poor right now. I need to get some more money. Evening, Janae. Hope you're having a great evening. Oh yeah, I definitely want to do some of these challenges from the boo, but I, I'm too poor to. <laughs> I don't have the cash. What items do I even have? Not much. Hmm. Alright. One thing we can do, I remember, like, <laughs> a couple streams ago, Koopa Koo's like, Oh, Artie, I really want a sleepy sheep. And I'm like, oh yeah, I'll totally get it for you. Totally, promise. And then I, I haven't yet. So we gotta buy the old man a sleepy sheep. He needs to go to sleep, doggone it. I can't buy it, I'm too poor. Alright. Maybe I can sell something. Uh... Yeah, I'm not gonna use the Tasty Tonic. You can have that. <laughs> it's okay, though, because Koopa Koot will totally pay me back. He, he knows how much Sleepy Sheep cost, right? Here you go, Mario! <laughs> one coin! Don't spend it all in one place! Well, it's kinda hard not to. Thankfully, we have all these shortcuts open now. Oh, also... What key item... What happened to all the money I had? I spent it on pants. I, I spent it on, like, a ton of badges in Rolf's badge shop. I've got one to Merlin, one to Mort T, and one to Musty. Okay, cool. Oh, I also need to find Chuck Quizmo and do some more of his quizzes. Here's your sleepy sheep. My stars, you're a veritable hero, Mario. Finally, some peace and quiet. Sweet dreams, here I come. <laughs> Take this as a small thank you. Oh, you don't have to be so polite, young fella. Take it. Uh, case it uh, costs a little more than that. Oh, of course. Take this, too. Did you know that there's a playroom in Toe Town? If I remember right, it used to be around the station. It's strictly for members only, so the entrance to it is well hidden. I bet you could find it, though. This here's the silver credit. It'll let you play once you're inside the playroom. Back in my heyday, I used to go there and make a lot of money, but then I got tired of the hoopla. So the silver credit's yours. Good luck. Make some money. <laughs> The silver credit. I never really like the playroom. I don't like gambling, especially on games of chance, but... Eh, maybe, maybe they changed it. Oh, what purpose have it? I've agreed to do a favor. Well, I guess the younger generation is not so bad after all. Well, I don't usually ask for favors, but... I don't suppose you could go to Goomba Village and find Goompa the Grandfather. He still has a tape I lent him a back, while back. Uh, could you get it for me? I really want it. <laughs> if you say, the tape, he'll know what you're talking about. Try to keep this whole thing under wraps, would you? You promise, young fella? It's actually his bootleg copy of Disney's Song of the South. <laughs> They're not, they don't print that anymore, so it's uh, very rare. Oh! Cowwiz! And he doesn't want anyone to know about uh, him bootlegging it. Alright, Chuck Ismo. I'm sorry, Quizmo. Question! How many windows are there in Goomba Village? There's two. Across the two buildings, there are two of them. Correct! Congratulations! Here's your star piece! All right, well, I get more than one question right in a row. I've only answered five questions right Wow. We're not done yet. Let's try the next one. Question. Which one of the Goomba King's minions had more health? That was the red Goomba. He had one extra HP. Correct! All right. You're not stupid after all. Here's your star piece. You've correctly answered six questions so far. But we're not done yet. Want to try the next one? This is such a good change. Because... One of my few complaints with the original Paper Mario was that the Chuck Quizmo quizzes took forever to get through all of them, and you needed so much backtracking. This is a great way to fix it. Question! What did the leader of the Goomba Bros call himself while disguised as a toad? Uh, what? Brew... um... I have no idea. Brew T? Nope. Oh, tough luck, pal! Wrong answer. I didn't know he had a name. Better luck next time! Oh, maybe, maybe it was the one that wasn't really a pun at all. Hey, Coover. How are things going, Mario? Uh, I hope they're going swimmingly. Wait, uh, Oh, wait, it was Mort T. 
You're Mort T, correct? I'm Paracarry. Here you go. That's right. Mort T, not Coover. Coover's later on in the letter chain. Another letter duly delivered. A postman's job is never done. A letter for me? Oh, it's from my wife! How sweet! I love her so, but she moved out because I only have one bed, and it's like a twin size. Whew. Oh, pardon me. I, I got really wrapped up there. That wife of mine, she's so cute, she makes me crazy. Thanks for bringing me joy. Here, take this, okay? Bro, you should be with your wife. Oh, well. We can't, we can't make him make good life decisions. It's up to him. Anyhow. Maybe Chuck Quizmo will be back in Goomba Village. Nope. Alright. Goompa. <laughs> so, Mario, how goes the adventure thus far? Are you keeping cool? Keep your wits about you and you'll beat Bowser hands down. Hmm, Mario, uh, looks like something else is on your mind. What? Koopa Coot says he wants the tape back. That old Koopa, how does he remember things from so long ago? I act I'll have you know, I actually like sound song of the south. Okay, Juge, wait for just a moment, I'll bring it out for you. It's good to have the backstory on Splash Mountain. Can't believe they're ca they're changing it at Disney World. Here, this is it. When you see that old Koopa, give him my regards. We got the tape. A tape returned by Goompa, delivered to Koopa Koop. What's that? You want to know what's on the tape, do you? Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. I'm afraid I can't tell you at the moment. It was great, though. But then Disney didn't want anything to do with it. Because people got offended. Alright, Koopa Koot. Here's your bootleg video back. I won't tell anyone. Suffering shy guys! Mario, you're a real gent! Did Goomba complain? <laughs> take this as a gesture of my eternal gratitude! Oh, you don't have to be so polite, young fella, take it! One coin. Well, perfect time, man. I guess the younger generation's not so bad after all, and I don't usually ask for favors, but I've got a hankering for some Koopa tea. It's the very best. Fetch a bit for me, would you? Koopa tea can be made only with a fresh Koopa leaf, which you can find in the village. Brewing it requires a special technique. Only a culinary master can make this tea the proper way so that it bursts with flavor. You know, I think beyond this taste tea of the Toad Town is quite a tea brewmaster. What do you say, you run along and give me some back piping hot? I, I have your word, young fella? Well, I actually read your mind, and I have some Koopa tea right here. I said piping hot! I, I, oh, I've only had it in my inventory for the last, um, like, 24 hours. Great growling Koopits! You defy comparison, Mario! Wondrous! Excellent! Uh, this hits the spot. You know, this tea is just as delicious iced as it is hot. I can tell it wasn't piping hot because it's been in your pockets for a couple days. Ah, <laughs> uh, you're a stand-up guy for doing an old Koopa so many favors. This time I'll give you this special gift Thanks. Don't tell anybody, though. I've got a reputation to keep. Oh, you don't have to be so polite, young fella. Take it. Free star pieces. That's what I was waiting for. Oh, what perfect time, man. I guess the younger generation's not so bad. I don't usually ask for favors, but I got a secret wish to get the great Luigi's autograph. He's your brother, right? Oh, but he's writing in his diary right now. I can't reach him. That young fella is truly super. Have you seen him jump? They should call him Air Luigi. If you could somehow get his autograph, I'd be really happy. Could you help, young fella? Uh, don't you want the Mario's autograph? No! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry, Mario. You've had your time to shine. Ouija gets a chance. But I'll have to wait till I get the super boots before I can actually do that for him. Chuck Wismo, you in this village? No? Hmm. Oh, he's here he is. Kawiz! You wanna try again? Then let's go to the question! Question! What did he call himself? Okay, it's not Bruti Nashti? That would be funny. Alright! Correct! Congratulations! Here's your star piece! That is a deep cut question. I would have never guessed that. I, well, I literally had to guess it. You've correctly answered seven questions! But we're not done yet! Wanna try the next one? Let's go to the question! Question! How many buildings are there in Koopa Village? There are six. Correct! Here's your star piece. They're free on each screen. I remember that one. Star piece. You've correctly answered eight questions, but we're not done yet. Let's go to the next one. Question. Which of these could you meet at Princess Peach's party? Uh, we could meet a Koopa. 
Correct! Here's your star piece! Gloom! You've correctly answered nine questions, but we're not done yet. Yes, let's keep doing this. Question! Which of these stations is not available on the radio in Koopa Village? Uh, there's no... FM Shroom. Correct! Here's your star piece! Yeah, okay, keep giving me questions like these. We're not done yet, let's go on to the next one. Question! How many bob -omb besides Bombette were imprisoned in Koopa Bros. Fortress? Um... Just four, I think. Yeah! Correct! Here's our star piece! I actually thought it was free. Glad that wasn't an option. You've correctly answered 11 questions! Man, there I forgot how- there are 64 questions. Question! What happens if you wait long enough during the chapter title screens? Um, a new song begins to play. And it's the original, uh, Super Mario Bros. theme. Correct! Here's your star piece! I love that little secret. Alright, Chuck Quizmo, keep com keep them coming. Question! How many guards patrol the hall outside of Princess Peach's room? Um... Just two, I think. Nope. Guess there were three. Well, oh well. We got, like, five questions, right? So... Yeah, the, the the hidden music on the chapter select screen. Yeah, you have to wait around for a while. But I always liked watching the uh, the boss's silhouettes, so I stumbled upon it on my own. Ooh, snowman doll. We're gonna save that for Mount Lava Lava. Anyhow, the power the power smash badge is calling to me. Also, there are spiked Gloombas. Spiked Gloomba, they're probably going to hurt real bad. Thankfully, we're full on stats. Alright, well, let's take out Mr. Spiky Gloomba. He's going to hurt the most. He hurts two if you action guard with damage dodge. Nice job, Goombario. Gumbario is officially more powerful than Mario is when it comes to jumping. Goodbye, little Buzzy Beetle. Do 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 do. A dizzy dial. Dizzy dials are actually kind of good in this. Not so much in Thousand Year Door because the dizziness status effect gets nerfed in that. But spiked paraglumbas are a thing, eh? Okay, well. I don't have anything that can help me deal with that. I guess Paracarry could, but pff, come, I mean, come on, who, who uses Paracarry? Power Smash, come to Papa. Woo! Oh man, that's gonna deal so much damage in combination with my Super Hammer. <laughs> this leads to the Ultra Blocks, right? Yeah, okay. I thought so, but it's been a while since I've been to this part of the tunnels. You use Paracarry? I use, I only use him for utility. I feel like he is, like, by far the worst party member for battles. Because in my personal experience, everything he can do, Goombario does better. At least once you upgrade Goombario once. I guess Shell Shot is alright, but other than that... Although, Shaggy! Hey, welcome! Glad to see ya. What the heck? Boos are enemies in this? Okay, well, this is a boo. Man, I thought these guys were friendly, but I guess you could say the same about Goombas. Anyway, these guys go invisible and launch sneak attacks from the shadows. I don't think we can scare them off or run away easily. Yep, I'd say we're in for a real fright. Get it? Okay, so what is Pro Mode? Um, so it's a hack. It's largely the same game, but they've made enemies tougher. They've added some new enemies, and they've added actually a couple new things to the game. Okay, well. Um, can I really not run away? Oh, you can. It's just a little tougher than usual. Whew, okay. Was not expecting to fight Booze. Oh my gosh. Wait, there's... 
Alright. The fiends I do to level up Paracarry, who I'm not even going to use. <laughs> Here you go, Paracarry. So booze in battle just start in transparent. I guess that, like, makes sense in terms of gameplay, but, like, come on. how That's so unfair. Ouch. Alright, tattle on the, the Paragloomba. I don't even know why I'm going after the Tattalog, particularly. But, I am. Whew. Correct, boos, boos are not enemies in the, nor in the vanilla game. They were enemies in Thousand Year Door. But it, it, it's very interesting how they're they're literally adding new enemies and like new bosses to the game. It's really cool. <laughs> Thank you, Merly, for the the spell that I don't actually need. Please use, save your spells for doing extra damage against bosses and. Um, <laughs> And giving me extra money and star points. Please and thank you, Merly. Yeah, it's this is really fun, Shaggy. Like, I I've beaten the first two chapters and I'm I'm very impressed. A lot of the changes that they made, I'm like, this was not necessary, but I'm really glad they did it. Like, dry dry desert completely changed, where like it was the same grid, but they actually made it so you had to navigate the desert more, which was pretty interesting. They've added some new enemies, like Wacka attacks you if you try to get the Wacka's bump from him. And there's also just quality of life changes, like Chuck Quizmo, when you reach him, you can do a bunch of quizzes in a row, as much as you can answer, instead of having to find him like 64 times. They even changed the questions that he gives. <laughs> I, I wish you could do the stylish moves in this. Okay, nope, no Spike you Paragoomba. No, no, no. Didn't want to enter there, but all right. <laughs> Man, I, the stories are more dangerous than I was expecting. We got to get out of here. Because <laughs> I, I haven't saved since I started the stream. And if I die, we have to do everything over again. I don't want to do that. Besides, we should go to Shooting Star Summit pretty soon. As soon as I exhaust all of the Chuck Quizmo quizzes. <laughs> I like how Chuck Quizmo will literally just randomly appear in one of the towns. So it's like, all right, gotta search every possible town till we find him. <laughs> Aren't you gonna say hi to Goombario's family? Nope. Unless Chuck Quizmo here is here, I do not care. <laughs> Whoa, that was magic. Yeah, I should save more often. I don't know why. I'm used to doing Let's Plays where it's like, you don't save unless you're at the end of the episode. Yes. It's N64, too, so it saves really, really quickly. There's no reason not to. Do, 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 do. I always sleep well, Toad. <laughs> I can sleep pretty much anywhere. Hey, Merlin. Got a letter for you. If you want me to predict, you must speak to me across the table, because I have issues. <laughs> a Kirby pro mode for, uh, for Star Allies? <laughs> for me, Kirby is already pro mode enough. That said, if people wanted to hack Kirby Air Ride to add new stuff, I'd be down for that. Man, where's Chuck Quizmo? I don't see him anywhere. Did he reappear back in Dry Dry Outpost? That's right, I only have Sleep Stomp and Multi Bounce. Alright, well, Multi Bounce is not worth it, but I might try to invest in Sleepy Stomp before I take on the Club of World. Uh. Yeah. At this point, I basically just want to exhaust the Chuck Quizmo quizzes, trade in some star pieces, and then maybe we can start Chapter 3. 
Oh, I also want to attempt some of the battles from the Boo. Chuck Quizmo can't spawn in, like, a village. You haven't... You haven't... Maybe he... Nope, he's just nowhere to be found. Okay, great. Chapter Freeze, your favorite from... Oh, yeah. The boss theme for Tubba Blubba is so good. Honestly, the whole soundtrack of this game is amazing. My personal favorite chapter is Chapter 5. I also love Shy Guy's Toy Box. Alright. We're not... We, I don't think we really encounter any new enemies... When we do the challenges, so... I think... Let's see. Chapter 1's gonna have, like, Goombas, Koopas, and bob -Oms. So actually, I think Cooper's gonna be a better idea. Are you ready for the trial? Yes. What trial do you want? We'll try the Chapter 1 one. 10 coin entry fee. Here we go. <laughs> oh, wait, no. Quake Hammer is cheaper. <laughs> Bada beam, bada boom. We don't do it for the experience. We do it for the glory. The only reason I lost this last time was because I made a stupid mistake and accidentally used focus instead of refresh. Guess we're going to Goombario then. What's with Chapter Four and Paper Mario having great boss music? <laughs> I mean, it's hard to top the dupeless music for sheer awesomeness. I'd, I'd, honest, I'd personally say that in this, the Chapter 4 boss has some of the weaker boss music, but... Matter of opinion. Free prob... The third chapter probably has my favorite boss music. I also really like the Chapter 2 one. Here we go. I was wondering... <laughs> I've been waiting for you, Star Fox. Oh man, Quake Hammer's gonna make these, these fights so easy. Quake Hammer just is really good. <laughs> in general. <laughs> also, I never check to see if our inventory is full. If our inventory is full, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... No, never mind, it's not full. I was like, if our inventory is full, Boo might not be able to give us the special prize that he has. Which would be unfortunate. Get out of here, Fuzzy. <laughs> hey, Mobius. <laughs> Unless your opinion is wrong. Well, <laughs> this is the difference between things that are subjective and objective. <laughs> but yes, people's opinions can be wrong. Alright, that's round four. I forget how many rounds there are. Ten, maybe? Oh, hey, paratroopers. What's up? Oh man, that actually sucked my HP. Yeah, enemies have double attack power in pro mode, which makes things interesting. <laughs> but damage dodge is also twice as effective, so it kind of balances it out. But it does help to be very good at the action guards. <laughs> you can't use the hammer on a flying enemy, stupid. Sorry about that, force of habit. I think I just have a habit of accidentally pressing the wrong command. Just in video games in general. Like, I was playing Fire Emblem Free Houses before this. I'm starting my second playthrough. And I keep, I constantly keep accidentally asking the same person to a tea party twice in a row. Because after you finish a tea party in that game, the game defaults you to, um, like, immediately ask them out to another tea party right after. Which is really dumb. <laughs> All right. Oh, yay! Less damage! <laughs> that actually will come in handy against the Spiked Goomba. Actually, wait, no, it won't. I have, I have damage dodge. All right, Goombario, you're gonna kill the bob -omb. Oh, man, it's not often that I actually kill a bob -omb without having it ignite first. Quake! 
Yeah, I probably should have attempted this a second time before Chapter 2, because now this is just too easy. At this point, all my party members are upgraded, so that's definitely part of it. <laughs> that was a jolly good tea party, wasn't it? Shall we have another? Basically. Except all the people I was asking to tea parties were, like, cute girls. So it, it felt like I'm like... <laughs> I'm, I swear I'm not trying to come on to you. It's just... <laughs> the game is, like, defaulting, like, even... Even on, like, the exact same command of, like, Tea party? We know... Hey, we can't help but notice that you enjoy asking girls to tea parties. Clearly you want to do the exact same thing twice in a row. No, no, no Fire Emblem, I really don't. Also, the whole... The tea party mechanic in that game is just kind of odd. Like, I get why they have it in, but... Fire, Fire Emblem over the years has gone slowly from, like... Hey, it's a realistic, like, war game where every single casualty matters and you, like, grow an attachment to the characters to, like, oh, it's just a dating sim now. <laughs> and for your prize, a Thunderbolt. That wasn't really that worth it. <laughs> Was it Marianne? Ninja Girl! Thank you so much for the follow! Welcome to the stream. This is Paper Mario Pro Mode. <laughs> a hack that makes the fairly easy game Paper Mario a lot harder. Uh, was it... <laughs> nice to see ya! Uh, was it Marianne who I kept asking to the tea party? Uh, no. I, I restrained myself and only asked her once. Uh, the two people I accidentally asked twice were Mercedes and Ingrid. And for those of you who don't know, no, Mercedes is not a car. I was disappointed as well. Alright, what trial do I want? Let's try chapter two. Oh, barf. I don't like this. Well, we'll use Quake Hammer to take out the cleft. Oh man, these moles are really nasty. <laughs> Watch how fast they're gonna throw the rock. Like, if you're not prepared for it, you, you, you gonna die. <laughs> you're gonna die! <laughs> <laughs> rather watch this than WWE. You know what? So would I. But I've also never gotten into wrestling. Or sports in general. I do play backyard baseball, but that is the only sports-related thing I really like. <laughs> Real-life sports, I, I never got into. Alright, if, if they just keep throwing clefts at me, that'd be great. Okay, well. Uh, of course, it was a little too good to be true. Let's save our FP in case we encounter some truly nasty enemies. Don't you dare take my money! You little thieves! Take this! One frame rock throw, basically! Believe me, it took me... <laughs> It took me many rocks to the face before I got the action command or the action guard for that down. Darn it, I am sucking big time. Okay, Mario, you you're gonna have to kill the pokey, Goombario, get my money back. I'm a poor man. I know I had literally five hundred coins last stream, but <laughs> I spend it all. <laughs> I'm very terrible with my savings. I, I just saw a badge in the shop I had to get. I had to have it. Oh, hi. Oh. Um, hmm. You know, this is going to be a blast! Power bomb! Boom! What do you mean that only deals four damage? What a ripoff! Oh, thank, thank you, Merly. That way, even if I fail the action guard, I ain't going to take more damage. But they still steal my money. Didn't even matter. Alright. Man, they, they nerfed Power Bomb a lot. If I knew how much they were going to nerf Power Bomb, I would not have upgraded Bomb at first. 
I mean, it doesn't really matter because all my party members are upgraded, but... I'm used to power bomb doing six damage to everyone, not four. Oh, hey! Well, isn't isn't this just serendipitous? I think we gonna need Cooper. Because he's literally the only one who can touch these enemies. Oh! That's bad. Did I save after I beat the first wave? I think I did. Okay, yeah, good, I did. Okay. <sighs> I was a little worried. I'm like, don't tell me. Don't tell me I have to do the first wave again. No, I don't. But we are going to change up our command a bit. Power jump, there's literally no reason for that. Auto smash. You, we can't help but notice that you're bad at the game. Maybe you need auto smash. No, I, I really don't. Uh, close call probably won't do. I'm, I'll do power smash. Also, I'm gonna start with yeah, Cooper. Cooper's gonna be my man. We're trying that again. I can beat it. I just forgot that. <laughs> I just forgot how much damage those lava bubbles deal. Eight damage? That's that's crazy. That's that's absolutely nuts. I also almost selected do the chapter one fights again. Which would have been real bad. <laughs> Who needs FP? I'm gonna burn through it all. I I have two uses of refresh, and refresh refills seven instead of five. <laughs> Even though the moles are the bigger problem, you don't, you don't get any star points for them. You just get one for the rock. <laughs> it's like, congratulations, you beat a rock. Here, take a star point. It's like, that mole literally tried to kill me. <laughs> yeah, but the rocks are tougher. Aren't lava bubbles chapter 5 in vanilla? Yes, they are. And they have double attack power, which is fun. <laughs> <gasps> This is where Cooper... I feel like Cooper gets a bit of a bad rap. He's not he's far from the best partner, and yet his his weakness of not being able to hit aerial enemies ever is annoying. But he can do stuff like that. And he's very useful for the early game. <laughs> we're gonna keep doing this. I don't care if we're eating through all of our FP. <laughs> we're gonna keep doing it. <laughs> They're not stealing my money. I like my money too much. I already paid 10 coins to try this. Uh, okay. There we go. Alright, this is where we died last time. But we're not gonna die this time. <laughs> this time, Cooper's got things under control. I love the little attentions to detail in this game, like when Cooper hits a pokey and knocks one of his uh, orbs away, which is really fun. Alright, Cooper finish off the pokey. Good job. Mario, we're gonna power smash this guy, because I don't want him to deal 8 damage. There we go. Alright, now we kind of need more FP. There's still 4 rounds left, that's a lot. Okay, that's actually a little bit of a problem. Cooper's not the best party member to have out for this fight, but we'll make it work. I'm not going to use Refresh until my HP gets a little bit lower. I can deal with no FP for the time being. Because actually, we don't need FP to kill Clefts anymore. Because we got the Super Hammer. Nice job, Cooper. Proud of you, buddy. Alright. Now, I think a fully charged hammer is enough. Yep, there we go. Get out of here, you stupid rock.
Alright, round seven. I was wondering when we were gonna see the Poke Mummies. Alright, uh. Gotta get rid of one of them. They're kind of annoying. Oh, sweet! Bless sweet. Alright, but now I can feel good about using Refresh. I I remember when I was young, the Poke Mummies gave me so much trouble because I could never guard against them and they would always poison me. And I died a lot in this dungeon. And then I basically just trained myself to get really good at guarding against the Pokies. And it paid off. Alright. Unfortunately, we've got to Quake this guy. I suppose we could have used, again, Paracarry, but, I mean, pff, come on. Why would you use Paracarry? Yes, I'm going to keep... I'm, I am going to keep <laughs> ragging on Paracarry's battle capabilities. When, when I find a situation where he's genuinely going to be useful, I will use him. Which I bet will be the Junior Troop of Fight in the Forest. I'm guessing the Junior Troop of Fight in the Forest is actually going to be difficult and warrant paracarry. All right. Pfft. I don't I don't need your help, Merly. <laughs> oh, that's the other thing I spent my money on. I spent I bought the special course, which I think was 70 coins in this instead of 50. Not sure if it was worth it. Alright. Oh, last round? Already? <laughs> okay. Okay, well, this'll, this'll be pretty easy, I think. I was expecting chomps to be used in conjunction with things like lava bubbles and poison pokies. Ooh, I actually guarded that. I'm kind of surprised with myself on that. Also, did the Stone Chomps only ever have one defense? I swear in Vanilla Game they had two, but maybe not. I know Paracarry is good in some... Paracarry is only good in situations where there are aerial enemies. Okay. Oh, my inventory was full. Okay, I get the... Hu oh, Hustle Drink. That's gonna be good. Um, I don't really... Huh. I realistically am not going to use a Dizzy Dial. I don't particularly care. I The only situations Paracarry's honestly, like, kind of needed for, or, like, really good in, are situations where you're fighting against aerial enemies with defense that have spikes on their heads. And even then, as soon as you get Watt, Watt is better. Because aerial enemies, even if they have defense, Goombario's gonna be better, as long as you have upgraded him at least once. So the only time Paracarry will be better is if Goombario can't jump on them. And the amount of enemies that that is, is like, zero, basically. What did I, what did I even say? Oh yeah, I was gonna check. Check, please! Here's my hustle drink, and here's my snowman doll. There you go. Like, Paracarry is made to fight aerial enemies, but in my personal experience, Goombario's just better against aerial enemies. He deals more damage, he can charge up in case of defense, doesn't cost a bunch of FP like Paracarry, his action commands are easy to hit. Alright, we've got a plethora of star pieces. I do believe we'll be purchasing Zap Tap. Pretty sure that's gonna happen unless I have a lot more star pieces than I thought I did. But I mean, Zap Tap for only 10 is kind of a steal. Alright, Merlo, what you got? We have 21! Okay, that might actually might change things. Zap Tap is great. Flower Saver is also pretty great, but I think that takes 6 or 7 BP. Four? Only 4? Okay, hang on. We might, we might get that instead. Alright. I'm, I'm never gonna get Zap Tap, am I? Okay, we could get that. Crazy Heart restores HP automatically during the battle at a faster rate, so that's like a better version of Happy Heart. I don't really want Mega HP Drain. I could save up for Power Plus or Flower Fanatic, though, which is only four more star pieces. Ooh, decisions. Power Plus is really good. 
So would Flower Fanatic. How much does Flower Fanatic... Oh, I can't check. How much about Crazy Heart? You need four? Okay. He's like, man, you're being indecisive. Oh, man. This is tough. I also want to make sure I have enough for feeling fine eventually, because those Dark Koopas in the sewers, they can make you dizzy, and I really suck at action guarding them, so I'm going to want that for that. Okay, Zap Tap is decent and kind of fun to use. I feel like Flower Saver, Flower Saver is so good. I could use Quake Hammer so much. Flower Saver, okay. If anyone in chat knows this, Flower Saver in this, it only lessens Mario's FP using attacks. It doesn't lessen your partner's, right? I'm pretty sure it just affects Mario's attacks. HP Drain is not worth it. Mmm... I gotta get Flower Saver. I use so much FP. Also, I'll get the Attack FX A. It's only one, and I actually like the Attack FX badges. So now I have five. I'm gonna save them. Flower Saver is too worth it. <laughs> Flower Saver's great. <laughs> I can use twice as many Quake Hammers. Okay, I'm not going to need D-Down Pound for this world. There's nothing with defense. I kind of want money, money, and I kind of want payoff as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm never going to get Zap Tap, am I? <laughs> I like money, money, and payoff. I need I need to equip Flower Saver, though. I'm going to unequip Power Smash, and I'm going to unequip... I'm going to also unequip FP Plus, because Flower Saver, I think, is going to save me more FP in the long run. <laughs> And then when I level up next... Actually, no, when I level up next, I get level up BP. Because I can always just equip the FP+. Plus. Oh, also, before I forget... Peach gave these me to me. Power Rush and Deep Focus. Which I might strategically use Power Plus. Also, a lot of... A lot of the enemies in this world aren't going to physically touch me anyways, so Zap Tap wouldn't be as good. I made a calculated decision. It's okay to disagree with it, no worries. Oh, Mario, you're kind of beaten up. Let's take a nap. It's only one less FP. Yes, but keep in mind, Quake Hammer normally takes two FP. Now it's only going to take one. I can literally use Quake Hammer twice as often. If you use a lot of... So if you use primarily high... Uh, if you primarily use special moves that cost a high amount of FP, Flower Saver, true, is not that great. If, however, you tend to use a lot of moves that cost a little bit of FP, Flower Saver lets you use exponentially more of those moves. So that that's my mental... That's my thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Just now, a ghost passed right in front of me. <laughs> you saw it, didn't you? Yep. Uh, I'm not the only one. Over there! No, no, the other way! This poor guard. It went into the forest! <laughs> Mario, this madness has to end. Will you go into the forest and see what's going on? I'm ashamed to say it's my job, but I just can't go. I'm too frightened of ghosts. P please, I'm begging you. Yeah, no problem, buddy. It's a wonderful day for a walk in the woods, just like Bob Ross said. Oh, these fiends turn dark real fast, but the ground is still light. <laughs> Pardon me, sir. Would you happen to be Mario? How do you do, sir? My master wishes to see you. If you would, please call on us at the mansion at the far side of Forever Forest. My master would also like me to add that she has her in her possession important news regarding the Star Spirit. Please make haste. We shall await your arrival with a warm welcome. And if you don't come, we'll get you, boo! Chapter 3, the... Invincible Tubba Blubba. Let's go.
I used to hate Forever Forest, and now I like it. Forever Forest this way, Toad Town this way. I wonder if they changed Forever Forest at all. That would be kind of cool if they did. Hmm. What do you think you're doing? This is Forever Forest. The path ahead of here is extremely dangerous. Didn't you know that? You'd better go back. Um, okay, so that's your story. You're invited to Boo's Mansion. You may pass, then. Okay, Gimli. Listen carefully. If you want to get through this forest, you have to pay really close attention to your surroundings. If you choose the wrong paths, you'll end up back at the forest edge before you know it. Well, at least you end up back at the edge and not in, in the middle of the forest with no way out. The areas around the correct paths will always look slightly different from the others. Watch carefully for clues. For example, in this area, take a good look at the inner trees as you walk around. In one of them, you'll spot strange glowing eyes. The exit near that tree is the path you want to take. These clues will be different in the other parts of the forest. Watch the inner forest very, very carefully as you go. <laughs> Meta Knight's cousin. It's like Treebeard meets Gimli. <laughs> okay, hey forest fuzzies. Oh, that, that's a lot of them. Oh my gosh, Flower Saver does work on your party members' moves, too! Oh my- oh, I'm, I totally made the right call. Oh, heck yeah- heck yes! I also forget if this is the game where if the fuzzy clones itself, they get full HP, or if they keep the old HP. I know Faust in your door, they can do it as well, and in one of them, they just, they duplicate the HP as well, and, and in the other, they will re completely restore HP. Ah, oh, man, these guys are easy. Fuzzies are another enemy that I got pretty good at getting the action guard down for. It's full HP in this one? Yeah, okay, so in Faust in your door, it was... Aw, yeah! Money, money, baby. <laughs> totally worth it. Oh man, this game has such a good soundtrack. Hey, Treebeard. Listen Curve. Oh wait, yeah, he just says the same thing. Does he have a name? This is- oh yeah, Oakley. He lives in Forever Forest. He guards the entry to Forever Forest to prevent wanderers from getting lost. He helps any townsfolk who get lost inside. That beard. For some reason, I feel like yanking it. Please don't. <laughs> Is this the mushroom one? No. Oh! That's right. Hey, dude. Hey! Hello there! I am a bubble from the land called Flower Fields. A flower seed? <laughs> should I give it to you, or shouldn't I? Well, I suppose I'll give it to you. Here you go. Magical seed! Please plant it somewhere nice and take extra good care of it. If you plant it somewhere bad and I find out about it, I might place a curse on you. <laughs> I gotta say, if you if you didn't find that guy on when you went through Forever Forest, reaching flower fields would be so annoying to do. Yeah, there's that tree. He's happy to see me. This is the mushroom screen. Oh yeah, piranha plants. They exist. Oh, that's a lot of them. That's a piranha plant. Yeah, yeah. They got yellow teeth. They've been they've been using too much mustard on their hamburgers. Uh-oh. They make me dizzy. Try to figure that out. Oh, we're dead. We are dead. Cuz I don't have close call equipped. Wow. Put in the pro and pro mode. Or maybe they're like me and just grew up drinking well water, which stains your teeth yellow. Although, ever since I used this new whitening toothpaste, I, 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 <laughs> my teeth are whiter than ever. 
<laughs> this the stream was not sponsored by Sensodyne Extra Whitening Toothpaste, but it sure did help. Okay, I did save that I got the badges. All right. Well, that was a pain. Oh, man, we gotta see this scene again. <laughs> yes, yes, you're very, very scared. I didn't see anything. I, I did in the previous timeline, but not here. So, Piranha Plant bites you, and you're so overcome with pain that you get dizzy. Maybe I should have gotten feeling fine. It makes sense that Piranha Plants would poison you. I don't see why they would make you dizzy, though. That's just... That seems like a cop-out game. That seems like a bit of a cop-out. Would you be Mario? Yes, I am Mario. <laughs> it is me, Mario. Actually, actually, technically I'm Wario. Because with the payoff and money money badges, I've officially become Wario. Well, so that was interesting. We went backwards and the, the sky still kept where it's dark. That was kind of funny. Hey, Oakley. Yes, yes, the path is very dangerous, but I've already taken it before. <laughs> Alright, let's just do exactly what we did last time. <laughs> Actually, we'll do a little a little different. Man, you got to be really good at the action guards in this. Otherwise, you get punished real bad. I am not good at action guarding those piranha plants, so that's going to be difficult. I've got a plan though. So my plan is, I should not have to tattle on a piranha plant when there are four of them out. So I'm going to try to find a group that, where there's just one piranha plant, and then tattle on him, and then when I go up against the four, I'll be ready. I'll have Cooper out, and he'll have power shell plus uh, Quake Hammer. Actually, wait. Is there a piranha plant in this area? I think it's... No, I think it's just fuzzies. Oh, no, there is a piranha plant. Sweet. Okay. And he's in the back, too, which, that helps. This could still go pear-shaped, though. I'm paralyzed by the fuzzies, too? And now, okay. Does the poison override the- Poison overrides paralysis! I don't know why that makes sense, but I will not argue with it. Cooper, save my life. What is- okay, so I'm- what I'm- oh my gosh, poison deals so much damage. Why does poison deal so much damage? Please refresh. Hey Vince, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. We are dying in the forever forest right now. <laughs> but refresh saved my life. So apparently promo now has just decided that every common enemy needs to inflict a status effect if you fail to action guard them, which I have mixed feelings about. <laughs> it's basically turning into a game where you're not allowed to make mistakes. Oh man, but payoff and money money are gonna make me rich. Wah <laughs> Paper Wario! <laughs> Alright, excellent. Tattled on the piranha plant, which means I can continue on my wayward... Uh, my merry wayward way. That's, yeah, that's Oakley. I'm doing pretty well. Work's kind of crazy right now, but apart from that, things are going very, very well for good old Artie. Come on. Give me the seed. Give me the seed, buddy. Don't worry, I'll plant it in a real good place. You see. Alright, there's the laughing tree. Good, good. Alright, where's that piranha plant? Here we go. Alright. 
And this, folks, is where Flower Saber is going to save our Keisters. Because we can do a Quake Hammer followed by a Power Shell, and bada beam bada boom, these Piranha Plants will die. <laughs> yes! Okay, that goes that goes much much better. I forgot the Flower Saver also affects your partner's stuff too. That's that's crazy. Okay, so that's the mushrooms that we need. That's the way we need to go. We're gonna go in the opposite direction though to find our special hidden badge. I always forget that Dizzy Shell is even a move that exists. If I'll be honest. I never really used it, because I don't really like... I don't particularly like the status effects in this game. And some RPG status effects are really good. This is not really one of those. Alright, Secret Screen with the Beehive. Ooh! I've also heard... Oh my gosh, it's true! Oh no! Wait! I forgot Bazaps have double attack power. Well, fudge. Yeah, I I so I heard about a secret in the game where on that screen of the Forever Forest there are beehives and if you hit the tree, even though it doesn't look like you can't hit it, a bazap appears. I now know that that's true, and I wish I hadn't done it. <laughs> All right, I. This is okay. I am. I'm gonna die a lot. Apparently, I probably ha should have more HP than I do. I only have 20 HP, and that's only because I have HP plus equipped. So I really only have 15 HP. Yeah, don't mess with the bees, apparently. I, I mean, I, I should have known. Because every single enemy up to this point has had double attack power, so I should have known that engaging with a bazap would be a bad idea, but I had to see if it was true. I'm not, I'm not actually... <laughs> I am not going to go out of my way to uh, fight that bazap anymore. I will wait to tattle on him until I get to flower fields. All right. Yeah, I uh, was not expecting bees to do 12 damage. That was um Now, if I if I had been able to action guard against it, I would have only taken I think 8 damage, which is still a ton, but I would have lived, but I I panicked and couldn't get the action guard down. Zap tap would have been nice. Huh? Zap tap would not have saved me. It would have it would have damaged the bee one, but I still would have died. Wait, no. Piranha plant. Darn, I thought I, I thought I got the jump on him. Guess not. Alright. Let's try not to get paralyzed or dizzy or poisoned. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Good. Now, unfortunately, Cooper can't finish the job. But he can at least take out that stupid piranha plant. <laughs> Get out of here, stupid fuzzies. I don't want to I don't want to keep doing these same fights over and over again. <laughs> Alright, note, note to self, if you see the beehive, don't hit the tree. I don't care if Winnie the Pooh does it. We can't, we can't get greedy with the honey. Alright. Alright, Artie. We'll go this way. We've gone through the Forever Forest a couple of times now, so hopefully I can do this really quickly. 
That's just as Oakley up there. We go this way. Thank goodness we have Speedy Spin, and thank goodness Speedy Spin doesn't take BP to equip. That was a good change. Hey, bro, do you want a seed? Yes, please. Okay, thanks. Yeah, like, if, if you go, um, if you go counterclockwise around that area and find the tree, you wouldn't have found the Babulb. So it's entirely possible that the Babulb would have just, you never find it. Alright. This way leads to the beehives. Do not hit the beehive. Terrible mistake. But there's a zap anyways! Don't care if I'm wasting the Thunderbolt. I cannot let that Bazap hit me. I guess I could have changed party members to Kumbario, and he could have taken it out, but I wanted Cooper out. Alright, I'm getting better at timing that. Great. So, yeah. Probably that was a waste of a Thunderbolt, but I don't care. I just... I, I don't want to play through the Forever Forest a, for, a, <laughs> a fourth time. I, I won't do it. <laughs> just, get, just give me my money. Give me my HP+. Plus. Thank you. That is one of the better hidden secrets of the game. I, I challenge people to find that secret without using Merlovely. That's why it's called Forever Forest. Yeah, because you have to keep repeating it. <laughs> Forever and ever and ever. Oh my gosh. Flower Saver. Thank you for existing. I am surprised the enemies didn't get an HP buff, or at least some enemies. The fact that only their attack power got buffed is kind of nice, because as long as you can abuse FP-related st stuff, you're golden. I do kind of want to defeat the four Piranha Plants, though, <laughs> just for the star points. Cooper, I'm very glad I, I leveled you up. <laughs> that extra one damage from Power Shell is really coming handy in handy. <laughs> when I was a kid, I got stuck in the Forever Forest because I didn't know which way to go, and now I'm getting stuck because there are bees. <laughs> Real bees! Well, you know the drill. <laughs> I wonder if they're actually going to start cloning themselves. I haven't seen the fuzzies do the clone move yet. Alright, this seems like a... This is the perfect opportunity to refresh. It gives me full HP and refills some of that FP. I'm very glad that they buffed Refresh. Literally, the extra 2 HP and extra 2 FP, I think, really does make a big difference. But not so big that it's like, well, Refresh is, like, the best move in the game. Makes me wonder if they're going to buff Star Storm at all, because Star Storm is one of those moves that I don't think really needs a buff. It's just super good. Especially if they don't actually increase enemy HP. Star Storm is basically just an insta-kill for enemies for a good portion of the game. Nope. Not jumping on your spiky teeth. I'm paralyzed, you butt. This better not create a stun lock situation. Now he's cloning himself.
Oh, sure enough. Sure enough, they do get full HP when they clone. Doggone it! So help me if this stun locks me to the point that I just can't get out of this. Why does that one have high HP? Oh wait, shoot. Should not have done that, should have just done a shell toss. I thought the one with the low HP was in the back. Doc God! Okay, at least... At least he didn't... At least he didn't paralyze me. Thank goodness. Jeez. Oh, good. Oh my gosh. We find... Yes. Okay. Yes. BP. 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 <laughs> Give me that money! <laughs> Alright. Well, we almost died there. Which is kind of stupid. That's that's the problem. If the fuzzy wanted, he could have literally just stunlocked me in place and there was nothing I would have been able to do about it. Alright. Actually, if we equip HP plus now, we're going to be out 5 HP. <laughs> yeah. Alright. I believe this is the last screen. Duck on it. I didn't really want to fight you guys. I could try Dizzy Shell, but... I think that's one where you have to rapidly tap the left stick. And I'm not the best at those. Why am I so bad at guarding that now? Oh no. Oh, this is bad. Okay, I'm, I'm, I have to use Dizzy Shell here. And hope that it hurts them all. Oh no, it's a tap A one. I'm really bad at this. Okay. Dizzy Shell. Oh, 100%, please! Okay, thank goodness! Cooper, oh my gosh, Cooper, you saved my life. Guys, can we give a round, get a round of applause for Cooper, who literally just saved us? We are using Refresh, and we're using Power Shell. These stupid- Why can the fuzzies paralyze you with their bite? That doesn't make a lick of sense. That is the first time in my history of Paper Mario that Dizzy Shell has A, been useful, and B, saved me the, to that extent. Well, at least I'm getting a bunch of money for- Oh my gosh! I like- I like the enemies to drop so much money that it lags the game. Alright, Laughing Rock. Alright. I'm gonna just try to avoid any enemies in this area. And give me my FP+. plus. <laughs> That's the other good secret hidden in here. We're gonna go back here. This is the way I came from. We go clockwise. 25... 90 degrees. Ladies and gentlemen, we made it to Boo Mansion. Oh my gosh, Forever Forest. <laughs> the frames... <laughs> Here's the thing. See, that is why I got money money, ladies and gentlemen. You you all scoffed at me and said, oh, Artie, you should have gotten Zap Tap instead. But money money plus payoff gives me that. Whew. Well, looks like we finally made it out of that spooky forest after, like, four timelines. Hey, Mario, what do you bet that that's the mansion that the old Boo was talking about before? No, I think they must have been talking about a, a different mansion. Oh, hang on. How many- how many- oh, I used an item. Volt Shroom. I used the Thunderbolt. And who wants to bet we're gonna meet some boo enemies in here? It would be the perfect opp opportunity to put them in. Welcome, sirs and madam. I'm pleased that you made it through Forever Forest. I like how he says sirs and madam, because Bombad is in your party. <laughs> My master awaits you in the room highest up in this lovely mansion. 
I love how you've decorated the place. Please go to the third floor. There you will hear all about the news of the Star Spirits. I'll see you there. Alright, well the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna heal up and freaking save. Because what what the butts? I was not expecting Forever Force to be that difficult. Let's break out more. Actually, we've already tattled on booze, so... I'm quite sure we're going to be encountering some some boo enemies in here. Hey, big boo. Oh, that's right. Nothing in that room that we can do yet. This is the one we want. I wonder if this will be harder. I was also wondering if we were going to have to fight the boos that are in here. Mario, you have come. If you want this record, you must guess who holds it. Okay. I'm pretty good at these kinds of games. The Lady Bow would be very angry if we let him get it too easily, fellow boos. Do your best like we practiced. Alright, depo has got it. Hey, booze! Okay, that was still as easy as it was before. No, boo -hoo. You, you guessed right. Go on, take this. Oh, boo, Lady Bo's really going to flip out on us. <laughs> I love what they do here. Close your eyes. Bleh! <laughs> Boos are some of my favorite Mario, like, enemies slash species. They're very creative, and I, I actually really like their design. It's the perfect mix of, like, creepy and also kind of cute. Oh, wait. Shoot. <laughs> Suboptimal. Unfollow. <laughs> yes, I, I am not a speedrunner here, folks. Put the record in here. Press tap A to play the record, but you gotta have rhythm. Don't press it too fast or too slow. If you press B while it's playing, the record will stop. Thank goodness the Boohoo's a guard is a huge sucker for the original Mario Bros. theme. Wow. He went back real fast. He's like, oh good, this is my favorite song. Okay. <laughs> got a little excited there, Mario. Oh, I gotta wait. Oh no, Lady Bo gave me one job to guard that treasure chest. She's gonna punish me so bad if she finds out about this. You mean, if she finds out about this. Oh, well, I may still be okay. <laughs> it's not like you can get anywhere without knowing how to use that weight. I'm gonna put it in my pocket, and then I'm gonna stand on the bathroom scale and be depressed, but then I'm gonna take it out of my pocket, reweigh myself, and then feel accomplished. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do with it. Or alternatively, we could pull down the chandelier. Gumbario's like, Mario, I, I can't jump! <laughs> Part of me wants to open the chest to see if this has changed at all, but... Before I do that, I'm going to save just in case it's an instant death trap. Because if I know this this hack... This hack likes giving you game overs. <laughs> We're gonna save before we open that. I think in the vanilla game it either just is a jump scare or it might also inflict one damage on you. I can't actually remember. It would be funny if there's a badge in here. Oh, okay, it's just vanilla. Yeah, it doesn't damage you. <laughs> also, fun little thing you can do here. You can blow up the wall from this side. There's no advantage to it, because you can't actually do any anything in that room without finding the alternate entrance, but I, j I find it funny you can do that. <laughs> also, watch the door here. Boom. 
<laughs> and the wall pushes in to hide it. It was great. Alright, give me my super boots. I've been waiting for the super boots for a long time. They're really good. Mario, welcome! If you want these boots, you must guess who holds them. The Lady Bow will be very angry if we let him get them too easily, fellow boos. Do your best like we practiced. They, had, they choreographed a dance for this. This one's a little trickier. Oh, get back here. Give me those. You got the super boots! No, boo -hoo. You, you guessed right. Go on, take them. Oh, boo, Lady Bo's really going to flip out on us. Blah! Hey, dude, are you gonna beat me up? There's a hidden floor panel very near her. A star piece is underneath the floor panel. Press A while jumping. Boost of luck. Can you find it? I love the puns. Love the puns. <laughs> Give me my maple syrup as well. I like Bombat, you you literally just stood right on it. I think like every room in this uh, mansion has one of those f uh, star piece panels. Just get up on the ledge! <laughs> there! <laughs> Hey, dude, I know I can't buy anything at the shop yet, but can you can you guys store things here? Lady Bo told me not to sell any items to Mario. You're him. Uh, no I'm not. I am Wario. <laughs> Do you see the amount of money I have? I am Wario. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm a Wario. <laughs> Is that better? Super shroom me. I swear this room has a hidden panel somewhere. Hmm, perhaps not. Like, every other room has one, though. I gotta get out those star pieces. There are some really good badges <laughs> for sale at Shooting Star Summit. I need them. I wonder if the I Spy badge is another one that costs only zero BP. <laughs> a whopping zero BP. I feel like that's a badge that should only be zero. Gotta get me those star pieces! Does this room have a panel? Maybe it does. No, never mind. That room does not. The room where you get the record definitely does, though. <laughs> Any Anytime you see a rug like this, there's going to be a star piece panel. Yes, I've played this game a lot. <laughs> to know where most of these panels are. Just in case we encounter some enemies that I'm not expecting. I'm save early, save often. That's one thing this hack is teaching me. <laughs> along with, along with <laughs> at work, Microsoft Word documents. Save early, save often. Otherwise, you might lose what you what you worked on. Look at the me! <laughs> I love that Easter egg. It's the little things like that. Like, they did not have to put that in the game. There was literally no reason to put that in the game. But they did it anyways. You could tell this game was made with a lot of love. Oh, I can't hold anymore. I'll get rid of a mushroom. I'd rather have an apple than a mushroom.
All right, Paracarry, I need you for utility and utility only. Thank you. Now fly me back so I can use somebody else. <laughs> I think there's a star piece panel in here. Never mind. I guess that's all the star piece panels. Hmm, I'm I'm already making plans like how do I tackle the clubbas in the upcoming dungeon? Because normally I just power bomb them, but that's not gonna be enough to finish them off. So I'm gonna have to find a new strategy. Ah, oh, that feels better. It's nice to be back inside my frame after so long. But I didn't even tell you to go to find the drawing. You solved the riddle on your own. Are you just lucky or what? <laughs> maybe it's just a coincidence. Or maybe you've played this game like 20 times before. In any case, you've managed to stumble on the secret way to the upper floor. Jump toward the drawing and I'll take care of the rest. You've earned your way up to the third floor. Thanks, bro. Say hello to Bo for me. We'll do, Uncle Pennybags. Hope you still make Monopoly while you're dead. <laughs> you finally arrived. You took your sweet time, huh? I was testing you to see if you live up to your reputation. How are the tests? Tough? Not really. I've played the game before. <laughs> My name is Bo. I'm glad to finally meet you. I'm Butler, the butler. I'm Lady Bo's humble servant. The reason I asked you here is that I need a favor. Bootler, give him the rundown. Of course, my lady. Mario, do you know the area near her called Gusty Gulch? A hill rises at the top of the gulch, and upon it sits the castle of Tubba Blubba. He's a monster, and he eats... us! Ghosts! Booze are his favorite food! Many friends have been eaten! We've tried attacking the evil fiend to save our friends, but Tubba Blubba is far too strong for us boos to slow him down even slightly. He seems invincible! That's why he's known as the Invincible Tubba Blubba. There is hope, however. If the rumors are true, then Tubba Blubba has a secret that he closely guards. And that secret is probably something that relates to his weak point. So, Mario, I want you to find out his secret and defeat him. You'll do it, won't you? Of course, you'll get a reward for doing us this service. If you beat Tubba Blubba up, I'll let you have this. Oh no, not best star spirit. Mm, Mario, I'm sorry we must meet in such a dire situation. My name is Scholar. I escaped from Tubba Blubba's castle, but I was in quite the weakened state when I made it outside. As a result, I couldn't go back to the sky at first. I tried to head for Shooting Star Summit to make the leap to Starhaven, but I became lost in the forest. <laughs> and then these fuzzies bit me, and I became paralyzed. <laughs> While hunting for a way out, I was captured by booze, and now here I am. I don't know what to say. It's okay, buddy, it happens. I don't care if my one drive is full! I'd never use it! Stop telling me about this. <laughs> what do you think, Mario? Not such a bad deal, is it? You would, ha you would have, have to f you would have had to fight Tubba Bubba to save the Star Spirit anyway, right? This way, you help us booze, too. Besides, I'm going with you! I'll help you like no one else can. True, Bo's a pretty good party member. My lady! What did you say just now? You, at Tubba Bubba's castle? Quite out of the question! I simply cannot allow you to put yourself in such danger. Still your ton, Bootler! I've seen too much suffering caused by Tubba Blubba. I wish to see him punished with my own two eyes. Besides, Mario will need me. There's no way he can reach the castle without my powers. Oh, at last, then Lady Bootler, Lady, uh, Lady Bootler, I, uh, Lady I Bootler will accompany you. It is my sworn duty to see to it that no harm befalls you. The ancestors demand it. I will be at your side always. You stop that nonsense! I'm not a child anymore! I'll be fine by myself! You wait here for my return! The lady. <sighs> I love Bo's creepy face. Is this all right, Mario? I'll join up with you until we oust Tubba Blubba. Bo, join the party. Like it or not. Yeah, yeah, you can press down C to go invisible. And Bo is powerful. She can slap enemies. Okay, then. Tubba Blubba's going down. <laughs> nice, nice to have you in the team, Bo. You're a fan favorite for a reason. Whee! 
Alright, that's the perfect ending point for the stream. We just finished Boo's Mansion, got Bo. And next stream, we can tackle Gusty Gulch. Wow. That was an exciting stream. We did a lot of side quest stuff. We died a lot. <laughs> Discovered how brutal fungi... Fungi forest. Forever forest is. And next time, I have a feeling that the Hyper Goombas, Hyper Clefts, and Clubbas are going to be... Annoying to go through. But we'll be streaming this again Wednesday at the same 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Hope you guys tune in then. It should be a lot of fun. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Hope you have a great rest of your evening, and God bless.